Welcome back to another session of Lightburn. Last week we were engraving for the first time onto treated lumber. This week we're going to focus on putting with Lightburn and the Comcro Z1 Falcon. This is a pretty cool dinosaur model that I got from Amid.com. Here you can see that I used corrugated cardboard. These cardboards were basically Amazon shipping boxes. There's tons of them in my house and it's about time that we put them to good use. The kids love it. For reference, here's the uh, link and I'll put it down in the description section. I believe the original design was with wood, but we can use cardboard and that's no problem. Scroll down, checkbox I'm not a robot, click on download, and it should automatically start the download for you. Use a 7-zip to unzip the file. Once you finish unzipping, go ahead and open the file up. Open Lightburn. Control O to open the file. Click on here to change from Lightburn files to all supported. Choose the DXF file. Hold down spacebar to pan around to take a good look at it. We can go ahead and delete some of the useless stuff that we'll never use, such as the copyright information, highlights, and delete. Select all the objects and hold down Shift and the arrow key to move it over to the right hand side. You can see that it can't fit everything in one go, so you have to um, do half of it first and then do the other half later. So let's select the half of it and down on the bottom side click on zero one that basically moves it to another layer look on your cut layers okay if you don't want to see it click on the uh, show button and now you don't see it but of course it's still going to output that onto the laser engraver since it won't fit on the engraver don't do it do it later the second time so for now we're just going to uncheck this box for output that way for the c00 layer it's going to output only that layer and we're seeing it right now this is cardboard so it doesn't require a lot of power but the speed is pretty slow because you want to burn right through four millimeters of layers double click to change your speed to 200 and a maximum power to 70%. Click on OK. Last time we were doing fill because we were doing engraving, but this time we're doing line because we just want to cut right through. On your keyboard, hold down Alt P. I'm using Windows machine by the way. Alt P so you get a preview of what the laser is going to do. And here you can see that it's going to cut. So just to be sure, this is the layer that we're looking at right now, which is the show. And for sure that the laser is going to cut it because it's going to be in the output. If your laser is not connected right now, now's a good time to connect it. It should auto home and then click on frame to make sure that the laser will fit in that working area. So when you click on frame, the laser should start from here to the right, up to the left and down. If you satisfy with everything, go ahead and click on start. According to our preview, it should take about 40 minutes. In that 40 minutes time frame, I highly recommend that you keep an eye on it or use a webcam to keep your eye on it because anything can happen in that 40 minutes. We're cutting cardboard so it can easily catch fire. So be sure to keep an eye on it. Don't go watch TV. Don't go and uh, don't get out of the house. Don't do anything. Keep an eye on it. Once that's done, go ahead and turn off the output on that layer. Turn off the show because we don't need to see it anymore. And then click on the C01 layer to output it as well as to see it visually. You can see that when we hit the show that is on the right hand side, we need to move it. So go ahead and select it and move it over to the left. I'm holding shift and the left key to move it faster. 
Let's Alt P to see what it looks like. There you go, looks good. This time it will take about 42 minutes. Go ahead and click on frame to verify that the laser will be in the area of the cardboard that you're going to be shooting at. If all is good, go ahead and click on start. I'm doing this on the deck of my house. You definitely don't want to be in the same area when the laser is on because the smoke is horrible. It smells like burnt paper, burnt firecracker. When you're cutting, I highly recommend you use air assist as well as the honeycomb bed. The air assist is to help you make a clean cut. You can see there's no coloration, no burnt effect whatsoever. The honeycomb is to make sure that it's ventilated so that the smoke can easily escape. Alright, hopefully this helps you with your cutting project. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.